Hey guys, welcome back to yet another exciting video here on the channel. Now the reason why this particular video is exciting is because it's going to be the very first subscriber giveaway that we do on this channel. So I can't thank all of you guys, the subscribers here of the RC Explained channel more than enough. I thank you for bringing us to where we are today. I could not do it without any of you guys who are here supporting the channel, smashing that like button on all the videos, and then the biggest thing, sharing those videos for others to watch out there wherever you see possible. All of these things ultimately lead to the success of the channel that we've seen so far, and I cannot thank you more than enough. So what we're gonna do in this video, besides the subscriber giveaway, which will be towards the end of the video, is we're gonna talk about how we can actually calculate horsepower, and we're gonna use a couple different methods that use different parameters in order to get us that end result. Then we're gonna take a look at the new logo of the channel. I'm gonna release that to you guys for the very first time before I go and upload it on the platforms that I'm going to upload it on, and that will happen within the next couple days, more than likely when the video on Monday gets released. Just before the subscriber giveaway details, I'm gonna go into some of the history of the channel and how we actually got to where we are today. So let's go ahead and start off by heading over to that whiteboard. All right, we're gonna use two different methods in order to actually determine the amount of horsepower output of our radio controlled systems. So our first method involves needing to actually measure the output torque. Now 99% of you out there are not gonna be able to measure the torque and we'll have to use our second method. And that's okay, because the second method, you'll see how the two compare, but our second method can get us close to the actual result as well. So let's take a look at how we go ahead and do this. The two values you will need is going to be the torque output measured as well as the actual RPM both at the same instant of time. And our formula to compute power in watts is going to be the torque multiplied by the rotational speed of our motor. In this case, you take Newton meters, you multiply it by radians per second, and you do get the unit of watts as your output. We substitute our values in. Now this came right off of our dyno that we measured the motor at, 0.407 Newton meters, multiplied by 9783 RPM. We convert 9783 RPM into radians per second, we get 1024.5, and then we go and multiply those two values together, and the resultant value we get is 417 watts of power. And this is the actual amount of power that the propeller on the motor shaft is experiencing. Now the only thing left to do here is to take our power output in watts and convert it into the units of horsepower. To do that, all we do is divide our 417 by 745.7 watts for every horsepower. This gets us a result of 0.56 horsepower. Now for any of you who are going through engineering school, here's a tip. What I used to do on a lot of tests is circle and identify your final answer. This would just make it easier for any of the professors or the students who are marking the work. I did this for the final answer or for any other answer that is important for the question that is being asked. So now let's take a look at the second scenario. When we have uh, the current as well as the voltage, we can also calculate the output power of our motor. Our current in this case, same situation, same scenario as above except now we're looking at the different parameters. 52.6 amps we measured, as well as 10.86 volts. Our power equation is simply the current multiplied by the voltage, in which case we sub those values in. 52.6 multiplied by 10.8 gets us 575, 571 watts. Now this is the wattage of power that we place into our system. It's not how many watts of power we get out of the system. We want how many watts we get out. We want that propeller shaft power. So here we are, power output is equal to the power input multiplied by our efficiency. We can take a system efficiency in a ballpark range of 75 to 85%. In this case, we look at our power output, which is equal to the 571 that we just calculated, and we're gonna select the 75% efficiency within our range, and we get a calculation resulting in 428 watts of power. And this is the 428 watts of power equivalent to our output, much like what we calculated here above. Then all we need to do is take the 428, we got to divide that by the 745.7 watts per horsepower, and we get about 0.57 horsepower. 
So as you can see, we go through this using the actual values of torque measured and RPM. However, in this one, we don't use the actual mechanical properties. We're using only electrical properties. And we can still come out to a resulting answer that is somewhat similar to what we knew. So really, the only item in question is really this efficiency range of 75 to 85%. We have to determine a value from this range based on the quality of our system, how hard we're pushing it, how close we think we are to the maximum efficiency range of the motor. In this case, we were pushing this motor quite hard, which is why I took the bottom end of the range as my efficiency value. And looking at the difference in results, this is very close. I would not expect every calculation to be anywhere near this close. There you go, that's how we get the horsepower value out of our system. Now let's talk about the logo. I'm super excited to reveal this to you guys before going and uploading it just about everywhere. This is going to be the logo that we go and upload to the YouTube platform, to the Instagram platform, as well as Facebook. And we're gonna remove that one that came from the website. I want the new logo to be based around RC Explained and how we actually explain all the different topics for our radio controlled hobby. This logo will better represent the brand in 2021 and many years to come. Now let's talk about some of the history of the channel and how we actually got to where we are today. So essentially, I have to take myself all the way back to about the 2009-10 area. Now the website says that it was started where the URL was actually opened on 2011 and I'm not sure how it was actually that late. Maybe I ended up letting the URL expired and had to get it back. I can't remember exactly what happened in that time frame. So let's just say that the website was started in 2010 and that was the radiocontrolinfo.com website. I started this website because I saw a lot of the same questions being asked on all the different forums and there was so much repeat that I thought, you know what, I will be able to go and produce this website and instead of typing up a couple paragraphs every single time, I can simply just leave a link and that'll explain everything and I can answer more questions on these forums. That was the idea back then. Now it was around 2012 where I bought this microphone and I wanted to start my own YouTube channel. And the reason was is because one of my friends in 2012 started their own YouTube channel and it was a lot of fun. And I saw how much fun it was and I wanted to do that with the RC stuff that I already had on the website. It was around 2017 where I actually fully commit myself to a YouTube channel. I put out videos that was talking about all different sorts of topics. I did unboxing videos, I did product reviews, I ended up doing a bunch of videos where I fly my airplane around and I commentate over top of it. And all these videos did not seem to perform well at all. In fact, they probably had about five views over the course of six months. And at the time, I was just playing around with the idea of where do I fit in within this sort of YouTube community. Now it wasn't until I ended up sitting on a couch, putting a camera in front of me, much like I am doing right now, except I'm not on a couch right now, and I started talking about a specific RC topic. Now I couldn't believe what happened. This is the video that performed probably the best out of all the videos that I had up on my channel at that time. And I was completely blown away by this. I found it so interesting and so much fun to be able to talk about the topics that I really loved and enjoyed and knew something about out. However, I did not expect there to be anybody who watches this video. Why? Because I was not 100% comfortable with me just sitting there talking and I did not have any sort of entertaining factor to my video. I was not happy with the production result of the videos at that time and I struggled with that for quite some time. Another small fact that I should throw out there is every single time you see me with that picture on the wall and the couch in the background, I literally had to kick my wife out of the living room so that I can go and record a video. And I had to do this every single Monday for a couple years. So you can imagine how difficult that could be. Luckily enough for me, she's very supporting and supports what I do. Now for those of you who are longtime subscribers of the channel, we're going back to maybe the first few hundred subscribers of this channel. You would have seen that I ended up having some sort of name change around that time. This was going to be my third name that I had on the channel. I ended up changing from one name. If you guys know it, leave it in the comment section below. However, I ended up changing to RC Explain. Why? Because more and more of the videos that I did started to become more around the topic of me explaining things 
about our awesome hobby of radio control. And that's kind of where the name comes from. Around the time when I ended up changing the name to RC Explained for the YouTube channel, I started to remove a lot of the videos that didn't represent the brand. I wanted to remove them simply because they didn't represent the brand and they were done in such a way where I was still learning on how you actually edit videos and how you actually record the videos, set up lighting. A lot of that stuff was very new to me and I didn't know what I know today. Now let's talk about the subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna give away a few shirts with the new RC Explained logo. I feel like this is a perfect fit because we're doing something new with the channel, getting that new logo, and I can give a little piece of that away to you guys. Now there's a couple simple things that you'll have to do to participate in this subscriber giveaway. The first one is obviously if it's a subscriber giveaway, you have to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The second thing is I want you to comment in the section below and let me know what your best idea is for a t-shirt idea for the channel. What kind of message or picture or sort of idea for a t-shirt do you think would be ideal for us to make? Now the way that this is going to work is I'm going to take all of the comments in the section below and I'm going to add them to a random selection tool. As long as you're subscribed and comment with the appropriate topic and have something there, I'm going to add you this tool and I'm going to randomly select three of you so that I can send t-shirts to you. The winners of this subscriber giveaway will be selected in the video that comes from a week and a couple days from now. I don't expect all of you to need to watch this video on your weekend in order to enter into this subscriber giveaway. So I'm giving you a good solid week in order to get your submission there in the comment section below. And that pretty well concludes this video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a ton for all of you guys who are watching the videos here that are posted weekly on the channel, smashing that like button, smashing the subscribe button, and also sharing the content of this channel. I could not do it without all of you, and I certainly appreciate all the efforts that you guys give back in return. Thanks a lot, and have a great weekend.